Hello students, I am Swastika Gangoli from Adash Vidya Mandi Shankar Vidya Pit Mountain. Today we are going to study a new chapter that is chapter number here when the art show. Chapter number 40. Okay, in this chapter we will study about uh, various types of natural disasters and then the effects of natural disasters on human lives and last uh, the management, disaster management plans and safety rules. Okay. Uh, for better understand this chapter, let's watch this video. Natural disaster. A natural disaster is a major event caused by the natural processes of the earth. Examples include floods, hurricanes, tornadoes, volcanic eruptions, earthquakes, tsunamis, and other geologic processes. Different types of natural disasters. An earthquake is a sudden violent shaking of the ground because of the movements within the earth's crust. The magnitude of an earthquake is measured by an instrument known as the seismograph. A. Richter designed a scale to measure the strength or intensity of the shock waves produced by an earthquake. It is known as Richter scale. A tsunami consists of huge waves caused by either an underwater earthquake or volcanic eruption. These waves can get as high as 100 feet that can knock down buildings and trees. A volcano is an opening in the earth's crust through which hot molten rock, ash and gases erupt. A famine is a situation in which there is not enough food for a great number of people causing illness and death. Drought is a long period when there is little or no rain on a piece of land. Effects of human's life. People face a lot of difficulties when they lose people from their family or their houses and belongings. Disaster management. Disaster management refers to the measures taken for the safety and protection of life and property from natural or man-made disasters. When a disaster strikes a society, external help is usually needed in the form of aid to cope with its impact. The four phases of disaster management are mitigation, preparation, response and recovery. Who helps? Many government and NGOs come voluntarily to help the people affected by natural disasters. Some of them are the United Nations and its organizations, the International Committee of the Red Cross, international non-governmental agencies, national organizations. They provide food, shelter, clothes and health care to the affected people. We have learned from this chapter that is there are many types of disasters like flood, drought okay, and famine. In this time there are government and many others uh, private agencies extend their help to the people at that time. Take care. Thank you.